Locklear cashes in his 11th home run of the season. And has struck very well into the gap in right. Locklear comes through. Diving catch by Locklear at third. When Tyler takes a field in a game, he thinks that he is one of, if not the best player on the field that night. And that's how he plays the game. But when he works every single day, he has something to prove. When he's at practice, when he's in pregame, when he's in his workouts, he works like he has something to prove. And when you have someone that takes the field in the game with the confidence that they're one of the best players in the world, and every day behind the scenes when they're working like they have something to prove, you've got a great combination. And that's what Tyler does. Coach Witten identified Tyler pretty early in the process comes from a, a high school that we really trusted. It comes from a travel organization that has been around for a long, long time that we really trusted. That was a big piece. And, and of course, we like multiple sport athletes here. And so that stood out because we knew he was going to compete. I think some of that manifested in his upbringing, right? He comes from an athletic family, two sport athlete. He grew up just an old school baseball guy. I come from a baseball family. My uncle played nine years in the minors. My dad played in college. So I've really had a baseball bat in my hand ever since I could pretty much walk. When I saw Tyler play for the first time, it was actually my first ever recruiting trip at VCU. Stumbled across Locke on the first day. You know, obviously right away, his physicality stood out. He had a tremendous presence in the batter's box. He, he looked aggressive but he looked calm and relaxed and very confident at the same time. And even as a 16 year old actually playing on an older team, he stood out physically with his maturity. Something I'll always remember early on when we were recruiting Locke was in, the, in that first game I, I ever saw him play was he actually made a diving play over the dugout wall in foul territory the first time I ever saw him. And a little bit of that is luck. When you see a guy make a play like that, watching him as a 16 year old in a travel ball game in the middle of nowhere, in North Carolina, diving over a dugout fence to make a play like that, right away showed the kind of intent that he plays the game with and the type of mentality that, that he takes with him to the field every single day. I only had three options. It was here, Towson and Gardner Webb. I only took a visit here and then once I took that visit, I kind of felt like this was the right place for me from like a coaching staff standpoint and being able to come in and play and develop. Tyler didn't know how good he could be when he first got here. Coming in, I wasn't really like the best defender, I'd say, or best hitter in that sake. And just kind of taking the time one-on-one, -on -one, me and Coach Witten or me and Coach Stiff, whoever it was, building my swing, getting better, getting reps in every day, getting stronger in the weight room as well with Coach Contos and Coach Mike. It's kind of just been like a growing process, I'd say, over these last three years. As he continued to grow in the evolution of his game, I think he started to realize once he got to better competition and was around better competition, the better competition only elevated his own game. Well, I think he really started to learn what he was capable of over the course of his freshman year when he walked on the campus and started dominating college pitching right away. One of the questions I got a lot last year when he had his breakout season was, were you surprised by this? And my answer was emphatically no. There was no surprise when Tyler Locklear walked out his second year in the program and put together an All-American type season. You have to really reflect on what he means to VCU baseball because he embraces so much of what we want our program to be about. Obviously, you want to start with the talent and the ability level and the type of player that he is. That's what, that's what every coach's dream is, to have players with that ability level come play for you. But when you, one of your best players is also one of your best people and one of your best leaders, it doesn't get any better than that. I think he's just the example of of who we are and where you can go from here. Since the moment he's come on, he's bought into team first. Uh, since the moment he's been here, he's bought into hard work and consistency and routine. He never stops working. You know, he hits every day. He's religious to his routine. He's religious to how he eats. He's religious to his weights. He's religious to really his, his, his academics as well. I mean, he is, he is a VCU baseball player first. You just try and get your game speed up, and it really started with this culture coming in at uh, VCU. Like, that's what Coach Stiff preaches all the time, just game speed, going full speed as hard as you can. Like, that's the culture that VCU is. Like, we're grinders, we have grit. So that's just kind of what we came in, and that's kind of kind of what I've learned to grow into, honestly. He gets, like, like for example, he gets more excited when other people hit home runs than he does. You know, and he, because he knows, I think for a lot of guys, one, 
how much joy and how hard his teammates are working as well. And he loves to see that being paid off. And I think that's, I think that's huge when, when young people sit there and say, well, here's the best guy on our team, one of the better players that probably will ever play in this program. And he's first out of the dugout when we score. He's first out of the dugout to shake somebody's hands. He's first out of the dugout to put his arm around somebody. And I think that's, that leads and only strengthens your culture. You just stick with that team first mindset. As long as I don't really think about myself as much, like as long as everybody else is doing good, it'll all kind of fall into place. So with team success comes individual success. So I just try and make sure everybody's on the same page. Having that support staff with them and coaches and family, they kind of help me like relax a little bit and just let me do me on the field. My favorite part about coaching Ty Locklear's swing is the simplicity behind it. He has a very simple swing and a very simple approach at the plate. Because his swing is simple, it's very repeatable. And when you have the simple, repeatable swing that he has, and you match that with the physicality and the strength and the hand speed within his swing, you have a power hitter that doesn't have a lot of holes in his swing to go along with it, which is a pretty rare combination. Everybody always asks me, how do you hit the ball so hard? You just get in the weight room, feel your body out, and try and get a good swing path, have good mechanics, and then it all just come together when you square it up. In my opinion, home runs are really just line drives that are accidents, and they just end up going over the fence. You just get them a little better than pretty much anything else you hit. I mean, it just starts with tremendous strength, right? I mean, so from the moment he's walked on campus, he's been in the top, you know, five to ten guys in the NCAA for exit velocity. You know, I think that's the one thing about Tyler is, I mean, he pops up at 100 mile an hour. I can't tell you how many times I've had scouts come to the stadium and be like, you know, and he'll hit balls over the scoreboard, and the first thing they say to me is, how about him diving in BP and stuff? You know, and his, his uniform's filthy already. And that's Ty. I mean, that that's it. I mean, he loves athletics. He loves competition. He is as good of a competitor as I think I've ever coached. He just loves the diving play. He loves the catch over the shoulder. He loves to throw off one leg. I mean, he loves the dirt ball read. I mean, he loves it all. He just loves whatever he is doing at that time. He loves being the best at it. Tyler Locklear is a giant kid. He is one of the most fun, uh, playful, goofy kids in a giant human body that I've ever been around. Uh, he's just a big kid at heart that plays the game like a man. I'm really a quiet kid, i say. Once you get to know me, I'll open up a little more, but you'll really have to come up to me and kind of introduce yourself, and then I'll open up. I'm a team first guy, so it's really about everybody else instead of me. I think he's going to play in the big leagues. You, you get to coach guys who move on to the professional baseball, and you get, to, you get to coach guys who move on to the big leagues, you know, and certainly at a program like VCU, we're not strangers to that. You know, I, I have looked at guys a lot of times and been like, okay, that kid's going to be a professional. He's going to go on to play professional baseball. Don't know if I've looked up, maybe one other time where I've looked up and said, that kid's going to play in the big leagues. He's going to be an unbelievable father, husband. You know, at some point he's going to be done playing, maybe he ends up coaching, but whatever he does, Tyler's going to be fantastic at it because that's just who he is. Tyler's the best. He really is. He really is. I, I couldn't be happier for anyone to see their success, truthfully, because he's just a wonderful kid. He's a great guy to be around. He loves his teammates. Teammates love him, and he's just a hell of a ball player. As long as you coach, you'll always remember and, and try and get the next Tyler Locklear. When you, when you go out recruiting again, you're looking for another one like him.